Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this time in the Mad Titan Shadow playthroughs, we are uh, diverting from the usual lineup of heroes. So, I just received the Nebula hero pack, so I decided to try Nebula out against Thanos. Uh, Thanos is the third uh, villain in the Mad Titan Shadow uh, expansion box, so uh, after playing the first two scenarios, we are facing Thanos and uh, I am playing with one of the daughters of Thanos so Nebula will see how the, her uh, techniques will work against Thanos and Thanos' uh, minions so let's get started. So we are almost ready to start so uh, first thing I need to say is that we are using the Infinity uh, Gauntlet Encounter set, so in the rules it says that you put the Infinity Gauntlet uh, set into play as so that you uh, shuffle the six Infinity Stone environment cards together and set them side face down. This is the Infinity Stone deck and then uh, we have an Infinity Stone discard pile, and uh, when it's discard, uh, when an Infinity Stone environment is discarded, it's placed in the Infinity Stone deck discard pile. And uh, when the Infinity Stone deck runs out, we shuffle the, uh, that deck back as a new Infinity Stone deck. Also, the Infinity Gauntlet's permanent and setup card, so we put it into play in the setup, and it can't leave play. It is attached to Thanos. And uh, then we still need to uh, resolve the 1A, so we flip it to 1B. It says that put the top card of the Infinite Stone deck into play and we get Time Stone. So, uh, Time Stone reads uh, special, discard the top four cards of your deck and place one threat on the main scheme for each different card type discarded this way, place this card in the infinity stone deck discard pile. So this is in play and the infinity stone read uh, or the gauntlet reads uh, permanent setup uh, forced response after in attached villain at activates resolve the special ability of each infinity stone in play, otherwise put the top card of the infinity stone deck in play and it gives a plus one. Uh, uh, scheme and attack for the villain. Then uh, we still need to uh, search the encounter deck and discard uh, or the encounter deck for the sanctuary side scheme and put it into play. So there it is. We shuffle the encounter deck back. So we get the sanctuary. It is uh, hinder one so we add three plus one so four threat on it and when defeated each player may spend up to three strength uh, physical resources for from their hand deal uh, two damage to Thanos for each physical resource spent this way this damage ignores the tough status card and uh, one thing to note uh, Thanos has stalwart which I will plus with this token so uh, Thanos can't get stunned or confused and force response after the infinity stone deck runs out give the Thanos one face down boost guard so that is that so I think we're uh, set up and ready to do our opening hand so let's see how uh, Nebula does and which I I didn't mention that Nebula comes with a pre-built deck so we are playing with that and it is a justice deck, so hopefully we are able to uh, give threat blow and still deal damage, but we'll see. I don't have high hopes of uh, immediately defeating Thanos with a pre-built deck, but we'll do our best. Uh, combat ready is quite uh, useless. Well, shuffle up to the... We could use this uh, to get the technique into play. We could also play Heroic Intuition and 
unyielding. Actually, this works pretty well. So we play this, we use this, and we keep nowhere. Maybe play it next turn. So uh, first thing is actually we play it this turn because we'll draw cards. So uh, we'll start. We keep the whole hand. We'll start by using the first aid to play unyielding uh, persistence. So while in hero form, Nebula gets plus one ward and plus one attack and gains tall ward. Uh, special give Nebula the tough status card, so we immediately boost our ward by one. Then we draw two cards with uh, Nebula's ability, Cybernetic Upgrades. After you play a Technique Upgrade, we draw two cards, leave it once per round. So we draw two cards, we get the uh, Prince over Brawn and Cosmo. Not that uh, useful. Well, um, I think we still keep it to our original plan. Uh, we use the Power of Justice to play Heroic Vision. Uh, I'll just place it over here. Then uh, we'll flip. And uh, we have plus one uh, toward from here and here, so four. So we'll toward for four here. And discard this. And this is actually a victory one uh, scheme, so we put it in the victory display. So I'll just put it over there, so it can't get back into play. Then uh, we have a choice of discarding cards to deal damage to Thanos. And I am actually considering it. Or no, 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 no. Uh, we can play Brains over Brawn. Because we just made a basic toward that attack, so we deal 4 damage, so no points. We'll just play that. I'm using Cosmo and the combat ready. So we'll play Brains over Brawn. Hero response attack after you. your hero makes a basic toward, uh, toward. Deal damage to an enemy equal to your hero's toward. So we just deal 4 damage here. And we'll keep nowhere. And that is our turn. We're ready up. One, two, three, four more cards. We gain uh, Justice Served, uh, Gamora, Weapons Master, Brains over Brawn, and Nowhere. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme Thanos attacks. I take it with Nebula. And Thanos hits for two plus one, so uh, zero boost, so three damage. I uh, will just take 3 damage. Then uh, the Time Stone activates, so discard the top 4 cards of your deck and place one threat in the main scheme for each different card type. Discard it this way and this goes into the Infinity Stone discard pile. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we'll discard 1 resource, resource, event, resource. So <laughs> only 2 threats, but still. We lost a lot of resources, which would have been nice, nice to have. So uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We are ready to start the next turn. So uh, we we maybe want to play Gamora, or do we want to try and get nowhere into play? Maybe Gamora is better, because after you play Gamora, choose a technique upgrade you control, then, well, we... Oh yeah, um, we don't have any technique con uh, cards in play when Gamora comes, so maybe we wait one turn with Gamora. Uh, because uh, after your turn begins to resolve the special ability of each technique upgrade you control, and technique upgrade, so it resolves, it gives us a tough status card, so... We don't have any techniques in play at the moment. We could play Weapons Master and uh, I think we are trying to stall here a bit. So I am thwarting for 3, uh, 2 plus 1. We'll flip to uh, Alter Ego. Even if we have tough, uh, we really want to uh, play. Uh, Justice Surge. Oh no, we'll play the Weapons Master. 
and uh, Weapons Master while in hero form uh, Nipple gains Retaliate and a special deal 4 damage to an enemy so with this and playing Gamora we can deal a lot of damage and uh, because we played a, a technique in Alter Ego we draw two cards uh, we gain uh, Lethal Intent and Side Stance I'll use the Brains over Brawn and White stands play nowhere, and I can't play it because I'm altering code. Yeah. So let's back up. Uh, I will. Actually, I'm keeping a lot of this card, so I'm using brain over brawn to play the white stands. We'll keep a little intent nowhere or up in hand. And that is our turn, we ready up, we draw open up to 6, we get Venom, Energy and Brains of Brawn. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, and Thanos schemes for 2 plus, give Thanos the tough status card. And um, then, uh, because we don't have an Infinity Stone play, we, we won, we get the Mind Stone. You are con uh, when this uh, result you are confused. If you were already confused, discard one card at random from your hand. Place this card in the Infinity Stone deck, discard pile, and we get an encounter card. And it is Thanos schemes. So two plus zero. So actually, yeah, I forgot to add. So we add a total of four from this. We're at 5, and now this activates, so we are confused. And... This goes away. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see what we can do in this hero phase. So, um... We have a lot of choices now. Fortunately we don't have any techniques to play, so we could really do some damage or, or get cars and etc. So I think I'm uh, flipping to hero mode. I'm attacking for uh, two just to get rid of the tough. Uh, this is because now we're able to play Gamora. I'll use uh, Energy and Venom to play Gamora. So after you play Gamora, choose a technique upgrade new control to result in special ability. I'm choosing the Weapons Master. So we deal 4 damage to Thanos. Then I will uh, use Nowhere to play Lethal Intent to trigger Weapons Master, so another 4 damage to Thanos. And we'll keep the Brains of a Brawn in hand. So we read, oh yeah, and uh, Gamora will hit for another 2 damage. So we ready up, and 1, 2, 3, 4 more cards. Nebula's ship, little intent, justice served, one way or another, brains over brawn. And that is it, so we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the scheme, Tr Thanos attacks, I will take it with Nebula. So uh, 3 plus 0, this comes into play, so we get the soul stone. Uh, when this activates, heal 3 damage from the villain and give it the face down boost card. This goes into the discard, so. Uh, we'll remove the tough. Then uh, we get an encounter card. Advance, so 6 plus 2 is a boost. If damage from this attack defeats an ally, well, it doesn't, so it doesn't do anything. So uh, we add 2. Still not that bad. But uh, the soul stone activates, so we heal 3 damage. 
panos is at five. That's still okay. And uh, oh yeah, we have a retaliate one, so Thanos actually attack one, so let's drop it down to four. And that is the turn. So that is the uh, villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We are ready to start the next hero phase. So uh, Thanos has four health. Uh, the first trigger are technique. So. Uh, first, uh, let's do the Weapons Master. Uh, deal 4 damage to an enemy, so Thanos' first stage is defeated. Second stage reads Stalwart Toughness, so Thanos gets Toughness. So let's encounter deck and discard pile for Thanos' helmet and reveal it. Shuffle also spawns the Infinity Stone deck that runs out. Give Thanos a 1, down, one face down boost card. And 23 health, so a lot. Let's see what we can do about that. I feel that this is becoming a race to defeat Thanos before Thanos manages to defeat us. Next, uh, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Discard one and put the other back in any order. So we want to get uh, discard an ally or a ready one. Oh, don't want to give Thanos top status card or put the top card of the infinity play. So I think we're uh, ready to lose the heroic intuition this turn, so we discard the Deviant Syndrome we keep uh, Proxima Midnight and the Mad Titan and here any order uh, next up uh, Nebula will just hit the tough away uh, Gamora will hit for two Then uh, I think we are using the one way or another and just serve to play Nebula ship. We will use Nebula ship and lethal intent to uh, play brains or brawn, deal 3 damage. So We are down to 18 health on Thanos, and that is our turn, so we're ready up, draw back up to 5, then we get Heroic Intuition, uh, Daughters of Thanos, actually we really now want to save Gamora, uh, White Stands, uh, Cutthroat Ambition and Eros. We go to the villain phase, we add a threat to the main scheme, so we are 9 of 12. Uh, Thanos attacks, uh, I will defend with Nebula. So 3 plus, uh, 4 plus uh, discard an ally of upgraded control, I'll discard the heroic intuition. So we take only 2 damage. And the encounter card for the oh yeah, and the infinity stone comes in play. So discard an ally, upgrade or support to control this best card in the infinity discard pile. So we get the reality stone in play. And uh, the encounter card for this turn is put the top card of the infinity stone in play. So now there are also the power stone. Uh, special you are stunned. If you were already stunned, take three damage and discard this. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, um, we still need to deal 18 damage to Thanos, and uh, at the moment, really don't have a lot of tools for that. But let's see, uh, we'll play the daughters of Thanos. So, a team up card, Gamora and Nebula match one per deck. Hero action draw three cards. We'll use Nebula ship for a 
that. One, two, three cards. Weapon master. Uh, evasive maneuvering and raids. Okay, let's see. We definitely want the weapons master into play. So we will. We will not need. Uh, well, uh, let's use the heroic intuition for that. Actually, we will uh, go to Alter Ego for a bit. So, uh, Amora will just hit for two. We'll flip to Alter Ego, and uh, we'll actually save the playing for the this to Alter Ego, so we'll draw two cards. Uh, strength, we'll place uh, Eros with Strength, and Ward for two. Then, uh, we'll use one way or another to Actually, I'm using these three to play Braid. And Braid will also attack for three damage. And that is the villain, uh, the hero phase, so we're ready up. Draw back up to six. Uh, yeah, we just run out of the deck, so. The reason why I uh, ported with Eros is that uh, we really want to try and avoid uh, advancing yet, if possible, because we lose half of our deck when uh, Thanos snaps. So we want to avoid the snap, but it might not be possible. We get first aid, justice served, one way or another, cutthroat ambition, combat ready. Cutthroat Ambition. Well, unfortunately no good cards for boosting, but we'll see. I will go to the villain phase. We add one threat here, so 8 of 12. Uh, we ward for 3 plus... Nothing. Uh, uh, this card drop curves the infinite loss like applied. Okay, well, never mind. So... This gets shuffled, so we actually... Got the space stone, so plus two, so that is enough to advance the stone's agenda or the scheme. And uh, this advances. So uh, when revealed, each player shuffles their discard pile into their deck. Each player removes the top half of their deck, run it down from the game. See, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30 cards, so plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards. Let's see what we lost, so uh, all, all the lethal intents, which is really bad. Uh, Weapons Master, which is really bad, Gamora, which is really bad, and two brains over brawn, so a lot of uh, cards that deal damage, so not good. We just need to find a way to deal 13 more damage, and uh, then encounter cards. Uh, inferiority complex, so I'll just do this to get rid of that card. Master of the Stone, so before that we resolve this, so discard an ally, upgrade or support to control, I will discard Eros. And uh, you are stunned, that's okay. Okay, now, and uh, let's see what this does. So, attached to Thanos, Master of the Stones, 
minus one fourth and uh, scheme and attack. Uh, force will interrupt when Thanos activates, put the top card of the Infinity Stone deck into play. At the end of this activation, discard Master of Stones. Thanos will just get more and more Infinity Stones. But that is the villain phase. Uh, this should be ready. Uh, let's go to the next hero phase. So we really need to find a way to maybe try and get uh, so as much damage as possible. And next turn the weapons master would be Thanos. Uh, I will use Justice Serve to play Cutthroat Ambition. We get the uh, evasive maneuvering and void stance. Uh, we'll play combat ready and use the discard card from the top of your deck until you discard a technique from red. Put that upgrade to play, then resolve its special ability. And not a technique, not a technique, not a technique, not a technique. Okay, we might have to just <laughs> do a big fail, but it is what it is. I can't know what cards I have in the deck because I, I hit one. So we give Nebula a tough status card, so fortunately we get, we get an extra encounter card, but that was pretty brutal. We just shuffle our discard back into our pro deck quickly and uh, see from there okay now I will flip we will uh, play first so we just There are no guards, there are no patrol keywords and crisis icons out, so this is not that useful. And, uh, not a lot of things to do at the moment. We uh, will uh, we'll just use that to heal, do damage. We will uh, that, play the Gutro Ambition and the. Well, not that, rather. And use that to play the Evasive Man Ring. And uh, I think I'm attacking with raid to deal 3, so we're down to 10, uh, we still need to deal some damage, so that goes to the discord. Uh, we'll ready up. Five. Uh, we get the uh, brains over brawn. Nowhere. Determination. Power of Justice and Combat Ready. They were really, really close. I uh, will add a threat to the main scheme. The Thanos attacks. I'll take it with uh, Nebula. Uh, 3, 4, 5, plus 2 is 7. We'll just remove the tough. We'll put 2 Infinity Stones into, the, into play. So Soul Stone, Time Stone. Just uh, checking when Thanos activates. We get Time Stone and Soul Stone, and the cut cards are Super Giant, uh, Quick Stride. After Super Giant attacks and damages a character, that character is stunned. Well, we are already stunned, so we lose two damage. And actually, let's see. Now 
we have retaliate one, so Thanos would have taken one damage. And um, Super Giant takes one damage. And let's see what else. We have piercing and overkill, plus one attack and ward, and uh, uh, we actually take one less damage from the white stance and uh, that is everything just would have needed the stalwart but it is what it is so second card is uh, the titan's throne so put that into play so, uh, when defeated, choose and discard an infinite stone from play. Okay, well, that is that important, but that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, um, we still need to deal 9 damage. So, uh, first thing first, we deal 4 damage to an enemy. We uh, remove 3 threat from a scheme, we remove this, and... Uh, we remove the one that uh, will damage, will heal, so Thanos won't get the heal. Uh, we give a Nebula a tough. Then uh, look at the top three cards, then Hunter deck, discard one and put the other back into any order. Uh, Corvus Clave, Eponymo, none of them. They don't have any anything, um, any card or anything like that. But Code of Guard, Discord, and Upgrade or Support might lose Nebula's ship. And uh, I'll discard Eponymo, keep uh, uh, Corvus Clave. No, we put it just into play. When, if it comes, okay. Then uh, choose a, to either stun or confuse an enemy. Stun, super giant. And then I will uh, remove the tough. And. Uh, I will play your hero makes basic sword attack so I can't do it because I can't basic sword. Five damage, so close, so close. I think I'm just uh, playing nowhere. One from here, the determination. Actually, um, yeah. I'll go to alter ego, and I will shuffle up two technique upgrades from the discord while into your deck. Keep these in hand. Weapons Master and uh, unyielding persistence. Okay, and uh, that is all we can do. Uh, we ready up. We will. Go back up to six, one, two, three, four. Uh, the power of justice, unyielding persistence, venom, strength, power of justice, and brains of brawn. So uh, we're pretty close. So we need to 
be able to attack and be able to uh, play Venom to win. Yeah, so we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Thanos schemes for 3 plus 1 is 4. And uh, this uh, schemes for 2, so 7 of 12. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty close of actually doing this. We get an encounter card. Oh, yeah, this. Um, get this might be really clutch, so discard four cards, one, two, four. We get event, event, ally and upgrade, so three, threat, grab ten. Encounter card is, uh, well, we knew that it's Corvus Glaive, so nothing bad will happen. And that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, this was a clutch game. We are just able to defeat Thanos this turn. Uh, Thanos only has 5 health remaining. We will play Venom. I'll use both of the Power of the Justices to play Venom. Venom hits for uh, 3 damage. So these guys don't have a guard or anything. And I will flip. Actually, I will uh, play the this one, draw two cards, I play first aid, heal two, flip and hit for three to defeat Thanos. So, yeah, uh, that was a clutch game, really fun game with uh, Nebula against Thanos, so uh, I first thought that there is no possible way to defeat Thanos uh, at one point or in the start of the game, but uh, we were able to do it. Of course, I may have made some play mistakes because this is the first time I'm playing Thanos and uh, Nebula, so uh, if I did any mistakes, please leave a comment down below in the comment section so I can uh, correct my plays, but still, I think a pretty solid game overall. Uh, Nebula was able to defeat Thanos, so uh, next time we are heading to the fourth scenario of the Mad Titan Shadow expansion, and it will be, uh, well, <laughs> not a surprise anymore, because I think all of them are spoiled, but uh, yeah, it, after Thanos we will be facing Hela, so look forward to that. And I think I will return playing either Spectrum or Adam Warlock for that, so we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.